What's going on, beautiful people, Jagira here, and today I'm going to be talking about the reworked Shinobi, which is currently in the testing grounds with about three days remaining at the time of recording of this video. And this video is just going to be my thoughts and my opinions on the reworked Shinobi, what I like, what I dislike, and yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Now, something that I like, you know, this Shinobi compared to the previous iteration of testing ground Shinobi, the wall splat, infinite bug is gone, hallelujah, like I said, I know, you know, we all know that was definitely not going to release like that. Okay, Ubisoft wasn't going to allow another infinite wall splat hero kit skill thing back into the game. Not ever since the absolute horror, which was Centurion on his release. So, yes, uh, thank God for that. Now, something that got removed from the previous iteration, which I am a little bit sad on, but I do get and I do understand, okay, is the whole guard break into sickle rain okay now on the previous iteration of shinobi your guard break you do your sickle rain that's really about it and it gives you the pin okay now this was the only hero at that time which would get a pin from a guard break okay so uh shigoki to get his hug which is a pin you'd need to either throw the target into a wall or you'd need to do a light parry to then get your hug uh, Centurion, you'd need to one, once again throw the target into a wall or get a light parry to go and get your pin. Yeah, Shinobi was different. Shinobi didn't play by them rules. He had his own skill book, his own rule book, and was like, I do what I want. And obviously, it was the guard break into the sickle rain. Now, this has obviously been gutted. Now, if you guard break a target, you just uh, yeah, get a heavy or a light attack. And I'm, I am sad. I ain't gonna lie, I am sad, but once again, I do understand where they're coming from. Now, Ubisoft have also changed how that pin works, okay? Sickle Rain doesn't change, well, it can't, sorry, change from another pin into itself, and it can't chain from Sickle Rain into another pin. So, you can't have two Shinobis now just infinitely trying to Sickle Rain a target to death, and you couldn't do, like, a, a Sickle Rain into a Shigoki hug back into another Sickle Rain, okay? That's been removed. Once again... I get it, okay? If you was on the receiving end of that, you wasn't having fun, and video games at the end of the day are all about having fun. And if you're not having fun, then you're gonna uninstall the game. If you uninstall the game, then the population's gonna go down even more, and then I run into more of the same people in the 4v4 and the 1v1 format. It ain't good, is it? No, it isn't. Anyway, uh, talking about Sickle Rain, this leads on to my next point, bleed removals. Now, this is something that completely caught me off you know, by guard, I was like, yeah, what? But, you now, okay, uh, I believe it is from your Shadow Strike, your Deflect, um, and your Sickle Ren as well, okay, it would give the bleed. Yeah, they removed it. It's now all just direct damage. Now, while this is good, in the aspect of, like, me, I am that guy that would put bleeds on targets and then try and be the whole cool guy of like, I'm going to watch you bleed out. And then I'd usually get my cheeks clapped and die and feel stupid. Or you just have something like a griffin who just chose to exist and use one of his many feats to remove bleeds. Um, the direct damage is good. And also it allows for Ubisoft to just tweak it ever so slightly, okay, with those damage values. And we all know that the bleeds... You know, bleeds don't obey normal revenge rules, okay? Once again, bleeds are above that. So, I do once again understand why. And, I mean, I'm trying to think now. The main outliers, you've got your Nobushi with a bleed. You've got your Shaman with bleed. And once again, if you was playing Shinobi, you could synergize with those two heroes. You can't really do that anymore unless you're running with Nail Bomb. So, yeah, those two. Valk, I believe, also has a bleed, if I am correct. And... Yeah, Warmonger's got her bleed as well. So, I mean, those four that I've just listed have their bleeds. You could argue that Warmonger shouldn't have a bleed by this logic and also Valk. I do feel that if a hero has a bleed... Oh, Peacekeeper. How could I forget Peacekeeper? Yeah, Peacekeeper's got a bleed as well. Now, Peacekeeper, Nobushi, Shaman are three that I definitely think should have bleeds. It is an integral part of their kit. Something, though, like Warmonger and Valk shouldn't. And if Shinobi's losing his bleeds then I feel that Warmonger and Valk should also lose their bleeds, okay? It's only just, you know, it's only more fair, you know what I mean, right? Anyway, continuing on, right, with regards to uh, the 4v4 thing of synergizing, okay? The changes to Dominion itself, which if you beautiful people want, I'd make a video on that and what I think of those changes, so let me know in the comments down below if you'd like that. I feel it's much more rewarding to play as a shinobi, okay? Because 
you're not absolutely fucked over by uh, renown. I was about to say revenge. You're not fucked over by renown. Okay, it feels better to play an assassin. Okay, and this is great. Also, uh, death balls don't really exist as much due to the way that it's you know formatted. So like you at most usually get you know two on one, maybe three on one. I mean, I'm not saying I've never come across a death ball in the testing grounds, that would be a lie, but it's a lot more uh, rarer than it is currently on live. Shinobi, in the anti-ganking stuff, actually isn't too bad with regards to his roles. Now, the thing with the roll, okay, is that it provides iframes from damaging attacks. Your heavies, your lights, you know, stuff like that. But, we run into an issue here, don't we? Right? And that issue is that a thing called Guard Break exists. Now, your normal hero, okay, is Guard Break vulnerable during a heavy start-up and during a dodge. Now, I know that you're going to have people, I mean, I'm one of these people who complain about when you get Guard Broken during a light, but that's usually just a random event, you know. No one is like, I'm going to go and, like, heavy faint and then Guard Break this light start-up. You know, that just doesn't exist. It's all just random, okay? So... Yeah, your average hero is guard break during your dodge and your heavy start up. Shinobi is guard break vulnerable during both his dodges, because remember he's got double dodge, so that's two. He's guard break vulnerable during his heavy setup, right? And he's guard break vulnerable during the rolls, okay? So he has, right, twice more vulnerability of guard breaks, okay? So once you're against someone who just realizes, ah, I just need to press guard break to beat a Shinobi, it kind of becomes infuriating, okay? Because Shinobi is meant to be mobile. He's meant to be fast and all that sort of stuff, okay? And to go against someone who just literally presses guard break win is slightly infuriating. Now, is this because I'm probably a bad player at For Honor? Most definitely. Am I going to complain about it? 100%. So, that is like, I mean, I've noticed especially, okay, against Raider who can soft faint heavy into guard break, Centurion who can soft faint heavy into guard break, Shaman, Peacekeeper, you know, uh, it's just infuriating because you try to do your dodges and before you know it, boom, guard break, okay, through anything. So, yeah, it's, it's infuriating. Also, another thing, I don't know if many people do realize this, but it does happen, the undodgeables will track you through your roll, okay? Now, if you're Shinobi versus Shinobi, this is also pretty helpful because therefore your undodgeable sickle rain will therefore be able to catch a Shinobi who's rolling, so... If Shinobi releases like this, you know, keep it in mind. It'll be very helpful and very useful to all of you. Now, I do feel that with his role, there is some jankiness to it that does need to be sorted out. And that jankiness is in the form of like, I have been hit by heavies, which I swear to God, I was still rolling during that. I should not be hit by that heavy. This wasn't like a Zanhu zone undodgeable. This wasn't a Warlord zone undodgeable. This was a fucking Raider top heavy that clarted me when I was during a roll, okay? So Ubisoft, if you're watching this, number one, hook your boy up with a sponsorship. And number two, please fix it, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm really loving Shinobi, but it is infuriating when these random attacks do end up connecting to me noggin and make me a little bit depresso espresso. So, yeah. Now, in 4v4s, Shinobi is good, okay? He's by no means meta, okay? Even with those changes, he is definitely not a meta hero, but he's better than he is currently. And as someone who loves Shinobi, that's all I can really ask for, okay? Is that he's better than he is currently on live. Now, once again, just because a hero isn't meta doesn't mean that you can't play them and or have fun with them. It's just, you know, they ain't meta. Now, in 1v1, there is less chance of being fucked over by outside influences, which, you know, is really, really good. And I have found in the 1v1 format, Shinobi is a lot better than he is obviously in 4v4s. But you could argue it's probably just due to him being an assassin with reflex guard and so on and so forth. But yeah, you know, I have a lot more fun. Uh, I, I personally have more fun in 4v4s with Shinobi, okay, because I enjoy the whole idea of back capping points and all, so yeah, but in 1v1, I'm not going to lie, he is definitely better, at least that's how he feels to me. Um, I will say, okay, I will definitely say that when you are against someone in 1v1, okay, the moment they realise guard break exists, your life stops existing, and that is depressing. 
I would like to see some changes, okay? I mean, either revert it back to the role being able to be guard break vulnerable, but then you run into the ability of just a single light taking you out your role. I don't know. Shinobi's always existed in this weird spot where he's either completely broken or completely trash, and there's just they're, they're really hard to be a middle ground, okay? But Yubi, I have faith in you that you can do this, okay? But truth be told to you, if Shinobi releases on live as he is currently right now, I will have no issue playing him and maining him. I find him absolutely fantastic and so much fun to play. I mean, I have had so much fun the last, what, almost two weeks now playing as Shinobi here. It is great. I've never had this much fun in a long time in For Honor. Okay, the testing ground changes are absolutely fantastic. And like I say, they make playing assassins viable. They make playing hybrids viable. And this is just fantastic. Um, things just seem like they just come more naturally and more fluid. So yeah, once again, big props to Yubi. If you guys want me to go do a video like this where I talk about uh, the changes to Dominion, once again, let me know in the comments down below. If you do enjoy this video and you enjoyed your boy here rambling about Shinobi, you know, give the video a like. That is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button to become absolutely awesome. Have the bell notification turned on with a little, you know, tick thing, I guess. And that way you're always going to be updated when every of my content ever goes live. Remember the four socials, they're in the description box down below. And with that being said, I have been Jagira. All of you have been absolutely amazing for watching. I'm going to catch you all next time. So take care and bye-bye.